What's going on guys, Marty, welcome guys back to another Minecraft Top 3 Seeds of the Week. So today guys, yes, I'm going to actually start off by showing you this really epic seed. You start off just spawning around this area here with this really amazing looking jungle biome. It's massive. You have a really nice overhang down there as you can see. And this biome is extremely large. You can already see some of the parts which I was going to show you in a second. But before we get into them, I want to show you a few exciting stuff first. And then we go into those large, you know, village down there and the temples. So first of all, when you spawn around this area here, all you have to do is just pass this lava, keep going straight, and then what you're going to end up with is a mob spawner. This mob spawner is totally amazing. I'm going to go down. It's a skeleton mob spawner. As you see, you've got a double chest. Make sure you clear all the sand. I've already done that. So when you clear all the sand, you're going to find a double chest, and you're going to find a mob spawner. It's an open uh, mob spawner, by the way. You, you could, like, you know easily see it and then you have to kind of clear a few layers of sand and that's pretty much it so anyway when you get yourself down here open this nice double chest you're gonna get yourself a diamond horse armor an iron horse armor some gunpowder some saddles a music disc and yes one more saddle as well and look at that name tag really epic and some redstone of course a bread and four iron ingots so look at that an epic beginning straight away you've got a ton of goods you've got a diamond horse armor all we have to do now is just find yourself a horse and next to it you have a another mob spawner yes another open mob spawner this one is a zombie mob spawner as you can see you have two chests and they are packed with amazing goods look at that yep music there's some saddles and another diamond horse armor you have two already this is really epic and here you have another iron horse armor you have some strings some ironing gets another music there's some more gunpowder and of course you have an enchanted book a fire aspect one enchanted book we are not done but I'm going to show you just for a second the amount of stuff that you've already got. Look at this. This has got to be like the best beginning ever of starting a new map. You're going to end up with a ton of stuff like really, you know, good quality stuff straight away from right at the beginning of the map. Come on, look at that. It's got to be really epic. A ton of music discs as well. All you have to do is just make yourself a jukebox like listen to all of those Minecraft crazy sounds which they have in those music discs. Anyway, as well, what you can do is turn those into a one giant double XP farm. So... Let's move now into the third mob spawner in this map. Not too far away. As you can see, I've already kind of marked it with a red wall. So look at that. This is the one there. You can have like a massive, you know, triple sort of XP farm in here going. But this one is a spider spawner. Before I actually get down, I want to show you uh, the XYZ for this one. Just in case if you're going to be asking, oh, what's the XYZ and all that stuff. So you can see it now on the screen. And then uh, make sure when you get into here, dig your way down. And then when you are down there, you're going to find a spider mob spawner. But we're here for the chest. All right. So as you can see, I've just took a picture. <laughs> anyway, as you can see, we have a golden apple. And this is what we hear. This is like an extreme, extreme, extreme impossible to find i suppose this is like totally impossible to find a golden apple i know you can make it but it's always fun to actually find it you have ton of music this you have another name tag you have more redstone and more strings and we are almost full seriously like this is really crazy within like a minute from starting this map as you've witnessed right now we have an almost full inventory with amazing goods really really amazing but we are not down there so when you spawn down here straight away you're surrounded by spawners when you finish from those spawners time now to head into the temple and the village but i think before you head into there you need probably to place a double chest somewhere safe and then empty all your stuff because look at that we are almost full so when you go into this temple make sure as usual a reminder don't fall down and kill yourself by the tnt so make sure you break your way safe into those chests which is you're going to find underneath and then let me actually place those quickly away so we can actually see the new stuff we're going to get so all right let's head on i've already been down there kind of uh, not explored but i just play some torches here we have some rotten flesh and some bones in the next one look at that yes some iron ingots three emeralds and seven golden ingots which is really really good in the next one another emerald more gold ingots and more bones and in here we are having as well more gold and more bones so i hope you guys liked what we found so far we still have the village to explore but before i actually go into the village i just want to remind you guys of the tnts make sure you break them and you take them with you because it's always fun to have fun with tnts make sure to go watch my having fun with tnt series because it's really crazy and you're gonna see crazy tnts flying everywhere anyway behind the temple you're gonna find a very nice large npc village so when you come to this one you're gonna find a ton of goods anyway you start that 
down there. You explore all of those sort of like mob spawners, and then you turn left, you come to the temple, and right behind it, you can pretty much see everything like from the spawn point, I suppose. So when you come down to this uh, blacksmith in here, you're gonna find some really good stuff in the chest in here. So make your way all the way to the back, and then boom, straight away another gold horse armor, some food you're probably hungry by now, and some obsidian and some apples, which is really good. So Look at that, we are almost done, but we have a few more things to kind of check out. But it's so much stuff, I can't just, I feel like I want to put them all next to each other and organize everything to show you exactly the amount of stuff that you've just found so far. Really, really cool. So when you're done from here, you come out and you're going to find as well your lovely villagers. But the most important is always finding the carrots and the potatoes to start off a new world. Because you don't want to spend hours, you know, killing zombies trying to get the potatoes and carrots from them. So in here, you have a complete farm, wheat, carrots and potatoes. So yep, let's move now into the second seed of the week. Alright, so the second seed for this week, guys, is a really nice epic overhang seed with floating islands. You guys have been asking me for those seeds for some time now since I reviewed the last one. And I thought today I need to find another one and show it to you guys. So yes, this is another epic overhang floating island seed. Look at that. We have a giant floating island there, which I'm going to show you from a close-up in a second. In here we have another giant floating island. On the right here, yes, we have a very nice, massive actually uh, overhang. But first of all, look at this floating island on the left. Really cool with a massive tree and it's not attached to anything from any side. Okay, back to this overhang. As you can see, it's uh, totally flat, which is really nice. It's very hard to kind of find those uh, sort of like overhangs. You have a nice large space all of it, you know, just kind of covered by mountains at the top. And then underneath is just a massive sort of, you know, flat overhang, I suppose, which is really, really cool. Cool. so you can do like whatever you want to do underneath this and i think it would look really cool especially if you build something really really old or maybe just build like one heck of a massive house just underneath this i think it would look really epic as well so we're not done yet we have this large uh, floating island on the other side which i'm going to show you but before i do this look at that behind this you're going to find as well a ton of small overhangs and a ton of caves which is really really cool which you can explore and find all different ores in here but now let's head on into this giant it's like a space trip this this one here this giant you know overhang it's really awesome but this giant as well floating island it looks like a space trip it's massive it's one of those sort of like star wars space trips which is really really cool so I hope you guys like this one as well and i think we are done from the second seed for those who love overhangs I hope you guys liked it so let's now move into the final seed of this week all right so the final seed for this week guys it's another epic seed you actually spawn right next to some horses straight away and then if you actually turn left we're gonna see some more horses but we're not here for the horses we are here for the ravine yes because this is one giant ravine and we're not here just because of the ravine we are here because of look at that yes yes a library you can already see a library and if you keep going straight down so oh you guys saw that you guys might have just saw that okay so let me explain what happened you spawn around this area here you spawn around the area here you turn left and then you're gonna see this ravine the moment you're gonna come to the edge of this ravine you're gonna see some words and all that stuff if you can drop down you're gonna see a library if you keep going down what you're gonna find is some diamonds yes sometimes i don't even know how many is in here i think there's about six maybe maybe there's about six Let's just check out how many diamonds in here. So straight away, you're going to find enough diamond to make yourself a very cool looking diamond pickaxe and axe, a sword, whatever you want to do. Six diamonds, I think that's more than enough to do most of the tools you need to start a new map, which is really, really cool. So when you're done, when you got all your diamonds and maybe you went back to the library and took all of those books, maybe just like raped this library and took every single thing in there. And make sure as well, don't forget about all of those, you know, important bits when you're actually in those places, maybe like the stone bricks and all that stuff maybe you could take it and then decorate with your house and as well don't forget about all of those you know books and all that stuff uh, in these chests so make sure to get all of that stuff in uh, from the chest and now all you have to do is probably play a little parkour game to get to the next thing which I'm gonna show you or maybe you can just build yourself a little safe path which you can just walk over it and get those delicious apple and this ironing in here and look at that yes this is where we're gonna go now and show you what's in there so we are here not just because of the library we are 
out here for the end portal which is sometimes it's really hard to find and then straight away in this one you're gonna spawn up there you're gonna come down you're gonna get to the library and then find this really nice end portal you definitely need some iron vendors uh, so you need to actually make them so you need to find some endermans you can kill them all that stuff i didn't actually explore that place so i left it for you guys to kind of explore you might find some really nice amazing stuff it's always good to kind of keep some stuff for you guys to explore and find yourself so i hope you guys enjoyed this week top three seeds of the week i tried my best to kind of you know include everything in this top three seeds of the week from portals to mop spawners to an amazing finds so i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did it likes very much i appreciate it and please don't forget to comment rate and subscribe if you haven't and i'll see you guys later take care for now and bye bye Peace.